Hi, friends. Hey. <laughs> I'm here. Uh, I'm going to let you guys arrive because I just did an impromptu live stream. This is my friend Andra, and she does uh, animal work here in Slab City to help animals to stay healthy and happy and fed. And she does such great work here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this little pup back to the pen. She just got her first vaccine. We do that here at week six. So this is week six and one day for the eight puppies here at the library that are all just scrumptious and healthy <laughs> and cute as heck. Yeah, so while we're getting puppy number two, I'll tell you what I normally do is my, my number one thing here is I'll have to draw that other vaccine because they have to stay cold. So they're in a cooler. You cannot at all let them get warmed up. My number one thing here is spay and neuter and spay and neuter and spay some more because, you know, obviously we like puppies and those are super lucky, happy puppies and they will all have fantastic homes. But overall, you know, we, we need to keep on top of that because we'll just have millions of animals here. So that's number one. And then, of course, vaccination here is super important. Unfortunately, because of the environment and our location here, we do have um, terrible parvo. We had horrible outbreaks here and dogs just die, young dogs, unvaccinated dogs, and it's not a good death. So that's what we're doing here. We're preventing that. So they will all get four shots. Today is their first shot out of four. And who's this? This is Belfagor. Oh, this is the one that's going to be the library dog. Yes, yes. <laughs> Belfagor. So I'm going <laughs> to turn the camera down so you folks can see how this works. <sighs> yeah, so we're mixing the vaccine. Hi, Belfagor. So the first puppy didn't even say a beep. You know, sometimes puppies um, will have a very dramatic reaction, but he I might. See. He's kind of a. He's kind of a. Oh yeah. He's kind of sensitive. Is he? But he's also really chill. Look at how chubby so he is. Okay. Is he really is? <laughs> They're definitely not underfed here. Nobody is underfed here. Just so you all know. Thank you for your support. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and if you folks would like on my channel in the community section, I have posted a link to the most recent fundraiser for the puppies and for the... Oh, thank you. Yes. Yes, thank you, um, because we need lots of vaccines. As an example, we have 58 puppies here right now. Um, Good boy. There we go. Not even a baby wagging the tail. Look oh. at that. And they all need four shots. I think that's 58 times four is 232. You multiply that by vaguely six dollars, mm. $1,300, just for the puppies right now. And we buy them wholesale, of course. So you would pay, you know, $13 at the store. We get them for half that. But yeah, we need lots of them, just uh, especially now with the rain. That's always a very scary time for us because it activates whatever's in the ground. So. Yeah. Look at that tail. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. <laughs> oh, yes. What a good boy. All right, All let's right. put you back. One with picture. Okay. One picture, Belfagor. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> He's such a sweet boy. I'll get the next one. All right. And of course, we need in addition to that. Everybody gets their own syringe and needle you know of course all right so yeah thank you for your support and we always need goods you know if you guys have used gently used leashes collars um medicine anything you know recently expired medicine veterinary medicine send it corn's way she'll send it my way they will send it my way that's right yes okay Next one. This little bean is a bit of a whiner, so he might get a little upset. He's the oh, loudest. Yeah? He's the loudest one. So Hi. maybe we'll get a little. Oh, Mac is in the chat. Hi, Mac. <laughs> All right. Satan's in the back. Look, you can see her head peeking up. She's like, "What are you doing to my baby?" Oh yeah, what are they doing? <laughs> my children. They're poking my children. Hi. Well, Max says that you helped him with his dog cheese. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We imported um, cheese. Cheese was an illegal Mexican immigrant. Oh. Uh huh. We got three of them here. Scandalous. Yes. <laughs> Smuggled across the border. <laughs> now cheese has a green card. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm very happy, Mac. You got cheese, and you know the owner's name is Mac. Guess what? That's why the dog's name is Cheese. You get it? <laughs> Mac and Cheese. 
And I think Cheese has a little sister now too. Also adopted from the slabs. All right, there we go. Yes. That is so chill. Oh, oh my goodness, such good puppies. I'll have to do it this way. Just under the skin, that's how we do it. Oh yeah. Oh, what a good boy. Sure like, yeah. Wagging the tail, I mean, my goodness. <laughs> wow. Such brave puppies. Yeah. Aww. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. Let's go get another one. Next one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next vaccine. Yeah, another thing we need would uh, be a biohazard collection containers. I have so many needles from all the hundreds of vaccines that my current container is full to the brim to put them in, you know, so we, they don't end up in the landfill. Okay. This one has a little bit of poop on him, like you rolled around in Oh, a little bit of poop coming up. Oh, that's a lot of poop. Wow. Oh, that is a lot of poop. Oh, my goodness. Yes. We got a little poopy boy here. Aha, uh -huh, fun, fun. <laughs> <laughs> He's not entirely covered with poop, though. Fun for mommy, fun for Cornelius. I'm sure they all have. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They all have a special bathing moment here. Oh. With their puppy. This is the one that runs into the water every time I pour water in the. Oh, interesting. Thing, so. I think, boy? I think he, yeah, I think yeah. he just likes to get in it. Like, whatever it is, he just likes to get all up in it. So maybe he'll be a water dog. Maybe. He stands in the water when I uh, when he drinks the water. Huh. You like water? Yeah. I think the dad is a Swedish Spitz uh, lab mix. Wow. Uh, to the best of my... To the best of yeah. my guess. Definitely some kind of... Swedish Spitz mix. Wow. And judging by the color of most of them, maybe a yellow lab. I wonder what their traits are. I haven't really looked them up. Hmm. I know they breed Spitzes for us, or they used to for a certain thing. Yeah. Uh, they might also be cattle dog, because cattle hulas uh, are uh, yeah. cattle, cattle herding and uh, hunting dogs. I see. It's okay, baby. Oh. 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 <laughs> there we go. So simple. Let me take a picture of you. I'm glad Cornelius is keeping track. They know what they're doing because by now I would know which puppy. <laughs> which puppy we did. There's we four light puppy. ones and four dark ones left. Okay. So this is, we've done two dark ones and one light one. Uh -huh. so All right. More vaccines. Hopefully, soon we can go around here and all get a shot in our butt for COVID 19. Not that soon, but I would totally volunteer. You know, I've done so many hundreds of shots. We could do people here. But for now, at least we can help our puppies to not get parvo. And it has also distemper in it and adenovirus. And para influenza, but the power is really what we worry about so much here, unfortunately. All right. And who is this? Um, the only one that has a name is Belphegor. The other ones, they're waiting for their this forever homes. Another light. This is a female girl. Yep. Oh. This is the, the two females I have left is this one and the black one. Oh. All right. The other two females have been adopted. One is living in a nice home in L.A. now. Oh, sweet. And the other one is living in Brawley in a nice home with a full yard. And Oh, you know what? You might want to contact them today and tell them that they're ready for their first shot. I will do that, yes. Mm -hmm. Six weeks and one day. Um, so. the, the one in Las Vegas has already been brought to the vet and started her shots. The oh, really? One, I'm not okay. sure. Well, there is a vaccine that they can do earlier, but I have, we have, we have to wait until they're six weeks. Mm -hmm. Hi! Hi, hi. And for all you folks watching in the chat, if you want to help support um, the the work with animals that Andre's doing out here, you can go and check out on my homepage. And I have a link in the community section uh, to the latest fundraiser. 
And also, if you're really moved to help out, you can message me on Slab City Library Facebook page, and I can help facilitate uh, anything yes. that you would like to do. Yeah. I know that somebody was trying to contact me about uh, sending out more Parvo shots. Yeah. So instead of sending money, um, I can get the information to Cornelius and they can get it to you. You cannot send us the vaccines. Of course, it makes a lot more sense to buy them wholesale. They have to be shipped overnight on ice and we need the syringes in addition. But um, if somebody prefers to do that and just send us, they come in box of 25, send us 25 or the last purchase we made, it was 400 vaccines and with shipping, um, it costs around $400. I still had some um, syringes, so it's maybe a little more with the syringes, but that would be fabulous. <laughs> All right. See you later, Bean. We're just calling them all beans for now. Oh, beans, yes. <laughs> beans. Slap City Library puppy beans. Okay. Next. All right. So yeah, ever since I do the dog vaccinations here, which is a few years now that I'm aggressively doing that, unfortunately learning the hard way by witnessing way too many puppies die of parvo and spending, you know, hundreds of times the money trying to save them than what it even costs to um, vaccinate them. I've become a big fan of vaccines, just so you all know. I'm also doing the flu shot myself now every year, something I didn't used to do. So all these anti-vaxxers I'm reading. <laughs> yeah, I grew up an anti-vaxxer, actually. I, uh -huh. I, I honestly kind of resent that because <laughs> now as a very poor adult, I've had to go and mm -hmm. figure out how to get myself vaccinated so yeah. that I can travel and, and not put my friends in danger. Yeah, I do the flu and tetanus. That's something I very much believe in. Tetanus, luckily, we have to do every 10 years only, so easy. This is a very shy boy. Oh, shy boy. He is. Look at those cute markings. He handsome. Is. He is so handsome. I'm going to go on that side because sure. I'm actually getting it in easier. Handsome boy. Oh, yeah. We're going to find a good piece of skin. There we go. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh, wagging the tail. That's just amazing. That was it. Oh, gosh, those markings here, guys. You got to see this. He is very pretty. Look at that beauty. That handsome. Oh, oh I got to take a picture. I know. <laughs> now, he has the colorings of mommy. Right? Yeah, there's pretty a few much. that do. Yeah. Oh, you got your nice spots from mommy. That's the Catahoula marking. Catahoula, yeah. What about the eyes? You know, the color hasn't really developed okay. in their eyes so much. So okay. it's hard to tell. A couple of them look like they might have, like, partial heterochromia. Okay. All right, baby, let's go. What a good yeah. boy. Go back to your nap now, okay? We have, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. Do we have two more? What do we have? I know there's eight. Yep. So, got two more. Yes. I can count my used... Syringes here. All right. Two more. All right. Now somebody is crying. Hmm. So, yeah, I'm super stoked. You know, that's not always the case, but it's often the case. But the puppies here, they got it made. I have not the slightest worry about them. Corn is finding them really good homes and they know what they're doing. You can't mess with corn, so you got to prove that you're worthy of a library puppy. And that's good. Here comes number seven. Grabbed another blonde one. Okay. This one is really trying to hide from me, so I thought I'd grab oh, him before yes. I again. He is a nervous boy. Yeah, he's the one crying yep, too. Yep, that's it. Crying before anything even happens. Oh, yeah. He's such a scary oh, boy. Oh my goodness. He's so sweet though. Okay, let's see. 
Oh, one little poke. He oh. might cry. That's okay. We'll make that quick, and it's the nicest needles I can find. It's okay, boy. What a good boy. He is a good boy. Don! One picture. Don! Gosh, not <laughs> even one little peep. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, yes, that was it. <laughs> okay, baby. That was Last it. Last one. He's a troublemaker. Oh, yeah? No, he's such a troublemaker. Okay, come on, baby boy. Okay. Last puppy. This little boy is so clever. He's too clever for his own good. He's oh always, yeah. He's always finding ways to climb into stuff he's not supposed to. He's the reason why I've had to reinforce the dog pen. Oh, see, he's oh, already. Oh really? Out the chair. Yep. He's that kind of. Huh? He is. He's gonna be a handful, but he's gonna make somebody. So really he needs happy. um. Somebody very oh, attentive. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it do. Or a really good fence. <laughs> oh, oops. Or both. Yeah. Hi. 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 You're a wiggly little bean, huh? Yeah. Look at those little tails. Oh, oh no. It's funny. They all have that, that tail shape, but they can still change, I Most think. Most of them have the curly tails. Some of them are a little li more relaxed. Hi. Huh. But that's the that's the spitz uh, feature in the okay and the long hair. Hi, baby. Oh, you're so cute. I think he might have partial heterochromia when the color develops a little bit, which means that part of his eyes will be blue. Oh, so heterochromia. So chromia. That means two so different colored hetero, eyes. Okay. Yeah. Hetero like different heterosexual too, right? Two hetero, colors and two heterochromia. Hetero okay. I'm just trying to see this Latin word. Okay, yeah, hetero. Yep. Okay, it makes sense. Yes. Mm -hmm. Huh? Maybe, huh? Okay, we'll do this way again. Okay, I make sure this little worm doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> he is yeah. very wiggly. Wiggle worm. Okay, baby. Don, oh. wiggle warm. What a good Wow, boy. none of them really complained. No. But you know, look, it's... I have the gauge of these needles is like, it's the highest, I think it's a 22 or 25, meaning it's the skinniest needles I can mm -hmm. get. It takes longer to do the shot, but it hurts less. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Seems like it was a good choice. None of yes. them squirmed at all. No. Just oh, here. Pinch. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He's got... I don't know if we had a beauty contest who would win, you know? <laughs> they all have their own yes. very unique oh, features. yes. So sweet. Uh-huh. Hey. Pop, pop. Oh. Wiggle warm. Wiggle warm. <laughs> <laughs> so all right. All right. That's hey, everyone. we got the puppies done. We did it. <laughs> Thanks so much, Andra. You're welcome. Uh, if you... Uh, um, maybe... Uh, I said a little bit while you were back there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you know, the Spain Neuter, um, we're very fortunate. Um, Animal Action League, a nonprofit here um, in Riverside County, facilitates our Spain Neuter and SOAR, Society's Outcast Animal Rescue, has been sponsoring our Spain Neuters with the help also of the um, Animal Welfare Center in San Diego. So luckily, because each of those clinics that we have, we have one coming up April 20th, we'll fix 30 animals, spay and neuter. I focus on the spay, but we're also neuter. That's $4,000 per clinic. So just this year alone, you know, it's um, 16,000 for just the clinics we had. So we, we need help, but luckily we have help for that. The vaccines, we really don't have regular help. Um, SOAR has been helping us sometimes, um, but we need a lot more. And I also don't wanna always burden the same rescues because they help other people. We're not their only needy group here. So um, if you want to help with vaccines, that would be fantastic. Um, dog food, we do more as a security for people who are down on their luck. Most people here do feed their dogs quite well. But we do have need for that. Commander. Yes, but corn, really, they almost they never need it. <laughs> they got their stuff together. But there are people here that live on EBT only. They have um, just food stamps. And here in California, you cannot buy dog food with food stamps. So literally, even if they want to spend their EBT on their animal, they cannot. So there's that. Yeah. Yeah, that's about um, what we do. We have little celebrations. We have doggy Christmas mm -hmm. sometimes or doggy prom. 
and fun things, you know. Yeah. Oh, and uh, Andrea is doing a spay and neuter clinic next month. Mm -hmm. And Satan, come here, pup. Animal Action League is on, coming pup. to us for that. Yes. Right here. Up here. Up here. Oh, yeah, that's right. Come here. Yes. Kick it. Good girl. Oh, yes. There you go. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> and Satan's going to get fixed. She's on the list. Her only litter that she's going to have. Yes. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, she was such a good mommy. She did really well, but she doesn't have to do that again. <laughs> and we don't need more puppies. So yeah, she's she's gonna be spayed April twentieth. Yep, Satan wants her house back. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> yes. Um, so, thank you so much. You're Andrea. welcome. Uh, I just want to get a shot of all the uh, the things that you've had to use for this oh, yeah. small procedure here. I'm just gonna show. Yeah, yeah for sure. A little bit. This is what. Andra brought over to treat these pups with. Yeah, so obviously we need a syringe, you know, so this I can discard in the recycling. I call the manufacturer. There's a residue of the vaccine left, not to worry about. But obviously the needles I need to put into biohazardous containers. And then the little vials, each vaccine has two vials. It has like a cake and a liquid and you mix them right before you use them. And then I will give corn the little stickers on here to put on a piece of paper with today's date so that the new owners know exactly when they had their first shot and what they had and when the second shot will be due and that kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, well, it needs to be in a cooler at all times. So I have it on ice. Subsidy style, we use, you know, bottles. So it doesn't, <laughs> but it melts. It doesn't make it wet. They have to be refrigerated. We also learned that the hard way. They become useless if they get warm at all times yeah. mm -hmm. all right cool thank you up the mess here all right i'm gonna turn the camera back to me and uh i see some people in the chat are asking how uh or for links after the stream is done and i'm more than happy to uh post links in the description this was really impromptu uh andre just kind of dropped by and uh so i haven't put the proper links in yet so check back on this video if you really care about this uh this cause, check back on the video in like a couple hours and I'll have all the links in the description. And if you can't do that, then message me on Slab City Library Facebook page or, uh, you know, I got Instagram, Discord. Um, check on some of the older videos. There's a bunch of links to the Discords and all the other ways to get a hold of me. So thanks for joining me for this totally impromptu uh, vaccination video for the pups. I knew uh, I told you guys I was going to do another puppy live stream and I will do another one this week. So keep, uh, you know, stay tuned. All Bye. right. See ya. <laughs> so yeah, you know that.